Merry Christmas, golf fans. I hope all you fantastic viewers and subscribers have a wonderful day and a prosperous new year. Now, as you can probably still tell, I'm not feeling great, but I thought you guys make an effort to watch my videos. Come on early, man up. Get a video out there to wish all your subscribers a Merry Christmas. So I have tried to jump in to a sim matchmaking game online. I think I sat in here for about two, three minutes. There was no takers. So I will jump in to an online tournament event. So let's jump in to the online daily sim tournament, the Christmas Eve daily sim tournament. One to two mile per hour wins, tournament settings, TPC scythe wind. Let's see how it does go. EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour I've not played this game great state of probably since the, the last live stream, which was my match play event. I think that was four or five days ago. So this could be really good or really bad or just very average. But let's try and take this opening tee shot down the center of the fairway. I'm just going to have to underswing this driver, I do believe. I don't want to run out of fairway on the right hand side I've done exactly that by the way we have trickled into the rough but let's see if we can get this one close I do apologize about my voice hopefully I am sounding a little bit better but I have done nothing but sleep the last three four or five days that ball should spin. That's a really good approach shot there with a 50 degree wedge, 54 degree wedge. And this should be my first birdie of the daily sim event. You can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, but really good start. We move on to hole number two, short par four. I'm gonna try and take this down the right hand side. That looks ideal. That's just going to cling on to the first cut on the left-hand side of the fairway. Hopefully, it's another approach shot that I can get close. Let's go with a spinner. Just going to apply a little bit of high loft. It looks like that green is slightly elevated. Ball slightly below my feet. It's a nice execution. This should sit down pretty quickly. It's done exactly that, and that has left me a four-foot putt for back-to-back -back birdies here. Should turn right to left. It has done. So great start. Hole number three is a par five. But like I say, guys, 2023 has been a bit of a, an up-and-down year for me personally. Um, the, the channel just didn't really take off with EA Sports PGA Tour like I had hoped. But what this game has done, it has brought so many wonderful people together within my community for games of golf, for event, for talking. And I think for me that is a huge, huge bonus. And I don't think I would have it any other way. I've ne I'm never going to be able to achieve a full-time YouTube status. Obviously, I would like to increase my subscriber base and attract more viewers to each and every single video, but it is far harder than what it sounds. But if you are one of the, the people who has watched any of my content over this year, which is 2023, I cannot thank you all enough and I do truly appreciate it. I have just purchased um, a new capture card, which will hopefully improve the quality of videos and live streams on the channel. And I am looking forward to continuing with the golf gaming on the channel in 2024, alongside Leo and many community members who do take part in the live streams. But this should be an easy up and down birdie. Disappointed with my approach shot there. It's a great way to start the round. Three consecutive birdies. It does put me to three under par. The leaderboard at the start said there was no one um, teed off or even played this event yet, which I do not believe. I think that's just a glitch. 
sadly one of the, the many glitches within the game. That ball is leaking left with that fast. Deliberate underswing yet again. Yardage is actually decent. But that ball has moved way off target. 25 feet to the left. And this is going to be a nasty downhill putt. This is really going to turn from left to right. But as much as I love EA Sports PGA Tour, and I am very grateful for EA um, accepting me as an EA content creator, there's so many things that could improve this game. I feel one of the, the biggest features the game does lack is like a society where you can host events and players can compete in your society. It used to be country clubs back in the Tiger Woods PGA Tour days, but that is where the social side of things with early 1981's A World of Golf does um, come into play. And if you've not yet checked out our Discord community, please go and check it out. I will leave a link to our Discord channel in the video description. Our latest, our current event is the Sim Match Play event, where we have actually attracted some of the, the better players in the world on PlayStation 5, which is fantastic. I just wish we could have our own society within the game that and a few of the glitches i do experience the the putt and glitch where you think the putt is dead center you get this weird mechanic that just kicks the ball left or over the top of the hole when you know it should have dropped and i get that i experience that more than most people i do feel apart from that i think the game is not a, a really good place i am hoping for me for new courses within the new year it is now getting to the point where the, the current courses we do have, I do feel we are playing them too regularly now. But I think for the first instalment of EA Sports PGA Tour since Rory McIlroy, it is a, a really good, strong opening addition. I've got no information if this is going to be a yearly, two-yearly, three-yearly game. I would like to put my neck on the line and say this game will come out every two years. Nice draw shot there. It's taking me down the left-hand side of the fairway. But looking ahead to, to 2024, <clears throat> like I say, I have just purchased a, a new Elgato um, HD60X, I do believe it is, capture card. I will be using that for live streams and recording rather than just using the PlayStation 5 itself. So hopefully that will improve your viewing enjoyment on the channel. But let's start to focus on this round again. I am four under through six holes. Decent start. I would like to get to double figures under par here. It's very rare I play these daily or weekly tournaments. I do play the seasonal events. But I just feel they're kind of pointless because you've got people who... We'll play it once, take a note of the, the conditions and then just go and practice it four or five, six times until they're, they've got every shot dialed in. Then go on to the, back into the tournament and just totally tear it to shreds. Sadly, I just don't have that time and commitment. As much as I would love to, to sit playing this game for four or five, six hours a day, it's just not practical. It's another good approach shot. Left me a downhill putt, pin high, 12 feet out. This is really going to turn from left to right. That looks good. Oh, that's a great putt. That is a really good reading putt. Gets me to five under par. Hole number eight. It's quite a short par three, to be fair. It's going to apply full off to this eight iron and see if we can get as close to the flagstick as possible. It's another really nice swing. This ball should sit down really quickly. And that is all over that flagstick like a rash. It's left me a five foot putt. Not much in this at all. It is going to turn slightly from left to right. Just going to play this one in firm. 
And that is another good birdie. Six under. If you offered me that at the start of the round, I would have, have taken your hand off. Hole number nine. No need to hit the power drive here. Just going to try and underswing this. This one ever so slightly down the right hand side. Good tip there, just change your camera angle to try and get a better perspective of the fairway or what's in front of you. I didn't actually get the underswing there, but that ball's shot way to the left. That's in the water, by the way. Oh, early. That is a huge mistake. Right into the water hazard. Let's see if we can get up and down for the par save. Just looking for minimal damage now. Really have to get this one close. <clears throat> but I am very aware my, my voice is starting to go while it's talking now, guys, and I do apologize. I just wanted to jump on and thank you guys for your support over the, the last few years, especially this last year, especially with EA Sports PGA Tour. You guys make the effort to, to watch my content, so I just felt I should make the effort to wish you all a personal happy Christmas. But what a par save this could be. I'm trying to get into the worm cam, but for some reason it's not doing it. It is going to turn from right to left, but I just wanted to get down into the worm cam. That is a tremendous par save. It keeps me at six under. Let's move on to hole number 10. Water in play here as well. Let's come down to the two wood. Just going to use the tree line here as my, my target. And that is a really good tee shot. Quite surprised that ran out into the, the first cut. 131 yards. Let's go with a pitching wedge here. I want to land this past the pin and hopefully spin it back towards the flag stick. Didn't generate any spin whatsoever. But it's left me a very makeable birdie putt. This is going to turn from left to right from six feet out. And I'm just struggling to, to get into the worm cam here, guys. I'm not sure what the issue is. I've not played the game in four days, and there we go. I was definitely pressing the right buttons. I just don't know why it didn't do it the last time. But this is definitely downhill, left to right. These are the kind of putts you do really need to convert on simulation style golf. To get anywhere near the top of the leaderboards. And that is another really good putt. Gets me to seven under par. Solid round so far. Hole number 11. Shortest par three on the course, I do believe, coming in at 156 yards. Just in between yardage here. No, knockdown's not the shot. Let's go with it. Nine iron finesse, I do believe, is going to be the yardage. Just going to apply full loft here. Try and land it just short of the pin. So on a really good line, that's actually came up way short. I didn't need that underswing. I could have just played that full power. Now this putt says level. I can assure you it's not. I think this is going to turn from right to left. Just going to go a quarter of cup to the right hand side. And what a read that is. Really happy with that. Part of me gets me to eight under par. We move on to hole at number 12. Just going to try and avoid this tree. I've actually hit the tree and that is going to be in the water. That's terrible. Now see there, my swing time when I felt was good, so I've got no idea how I've actually hit that tree. 
because I'm sure I lined up to miss the tree on the left hand side. And look at this for a drop, oh my goodness. This is a terrible drop. These are the moments that just kill your rounds, guys. I'm just going to try and hack this down the left-hand side. Just ensuring I clear the water. It's probably going to hit the crowd. It has done. That looks like cart path. It is cart path. Yeah, I just don't understand that sometimes. I felt I had a good swing time in there. I think it was a tiny bit fast. Tiny overswing. But the ball just shot to the right. So this is just damage limitations here yet again. It says I've got a hundred percent lie here at my feet. So finesse 60 degree. It should spin. Oh, I didn't expect that amount to spin though. I do have a putt for bogey here. Bogey would really be a good result here. I've not hit that. I've underswung it and that is really costly. Oh early. That is going to be a double bogey and you just can't afford them in these kind of events. So I go from eight under all the way back down to a very average six under. But let's see if we can still reach double figures under par. Running out of holes now but that really is frustrating. I see that, that's the exact same swing timing I felt I had where the ball moved to the right. That tee shot stayed laser beam straight, so I just don't get it at times. I do feel there is a lot of unpredictability about this game, especially on simulation mode. So finesse, 54 degree, this is the yardage. Yet again, try to just go past the pin and hopefully the ball does generate a little bit of backspin. It's a good shot, solid approach shot. Let's see if we can get a birdie, a bounce back birdie here. It is going to turn from right to left. I don't think there's much in it. Worm cam is working perfectly fine now. Oh, that's a bad putt. That's a really poor miss. I should have missed that. To be fair, I didn't expect the ball to break as much as that. Yeah, that's really frustrating coming off the back of a double bogey. Hole number 14. It's a long par three. It's only one to two mile per hour wind, so six iron should be good here. There is a perfect. Should sit down pretty quickly. It has done. It is going to leave me a downhill putt. <clears throat> so 22 feet out. I don't think there's much in this. I think it's right to left, but I'm convinced it breaks left to right on the last grid. But let's try it. Oh, it does. And it did. And it turned a little bit more than I gave it credit for. And that is two or three putts now that I've just not read well enough. I think it's going to be one of these rounds that is going to be a, a could have, should have round. Now running out of holes to get double figures under par. But deliberate underswing with a two wood here. And that has left me in prime location to go and attack this flag stick. Let's go with the, the 60 degree. I should comfortably generate backspin with this, with this wedge. So I'm just going to land it slightly past the pin and hopefully it does spin back a few feet. It's tracking well. Is it going to spin? It has done. And hopefully this time I can convert this birdie. It is going to turn from right to left. Slightly uphill. I don't think there's too much in this. I can't see it turning past the cup. 
And we do get back on the birdie trail. Back to seven under par, par five coming up here. I really need to birdie or eagle this one if I am going to go double figures under par. Short par five. No need to risk the power driver. Just going to take this down the left hand side off the fairway. That should be ideal. I think I'm just going to catch the overhanging branches. But that is a really good tee shot. And it's left me 191 yards in. I'm just hoping this tree isn't in the way here. Let's go with a finesse 7 iron. Really want to get this one close and set up an eagle opportunity. Oh, that ball's leaked to the right. I'm really surprised at that. Fast 0.2 and an underswing 0.2. And I've been heavily punished there. I'm going to try and pick this one in for the eagle. It's a good attempt. It is going to leave me a tap in birdie, which will get me to eight under par with two holes remaining. But that double bogey has really came back to haunt me. Water in play here. Just going to under swing the drive. That should be ideal. Good yardage control there. And that is going to leave me 169 yards into this pin. Let's go full loft in the 9 iron. I'm going to try and overpower this. I think it may be a little bit short. Got the overpower. It's on a really nice line if it's got the legs. Don't spin. Ah. Needed another 2 yards of carry there. And that would have been a really good approach shot. Let's see if I can chip this one in. Going full out attack. As I always do. But like I say, that's got a chance by the way. Oh, I just came up short left. That double bogey really cost me. I should be 10 under, maybe 12 under with the putts I've missed. I think everyone on every round can say that really there's putts that you should have converted so the final hole of this Christmas Eve daily sim tournament is coming to an end and like I say guys I do hope you all have a fantastic Christmas with your loved ones and stay tuned to the channel because as of the 27th of December I will be doing a lot of live streams so if you haven't already done so, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. And hopefully the future of the channel is going to be steady. And continues to grow along with the community side of things. Now let's see if I can finish with a birdie here. It is uphill. It is going to turn from left to right. I don't think there's too much in it. Go, go, go. Oh, it just sums the round out. It's another lip out. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye. And that will make this a dazzling round of 62.